it's your, it's your it's your boy <laughs> AC <laughs> all right my friends let us begin so now we're gonna get into the neat the the I would say the most exciting parts of continuity okay and let me just write down what is our three definitions again just in case we forgot remember in order to a function to be continuous the point of the point has to exist so this point is defined we also know that the limit as we approach that point has to exist so that means from the left and from the right and last but not least they need to be equal to each other so in other words uh we basically don't want any holes or vertical asymptotes right that just it we want a perfect graph like we've always accustomed to with zero holes so over here it says determine whether the function is continuous at three and justify why or why not well the first thing i like to do before i even do this problem is i like to at least get a visual of what what at least i'm looking at here so the value i'm interested in is three and this says x cannot equal three well what does that mean well it can be everything else except for three okay so that means we can be everything else except for three well it's x squared i just happen to know off of memory x squared is going to look something like such now if you don't remember again it doesn't matter as long as you can get some kind of visual and this is when x equals three that means my y value is two cool and what we want to determine is whether or not okay um we have this this dot right here all la all labeled uh let me color it in orange just so that it's differentiated there it is this orange dot is filled into here we want to know whether it's filled in well i can already tell just by the way i drew this and knowing x squared it's not but we have to actually prove it mathematically so the first thing to ask ourselves is well is the point defined well the point is defined right when f is equal to three my y value is two that's what it says right here when x equals three my y value is two so definition one does exist well let's find out the limit well does the limit as x approaches three exist well if you notice the limit as we approach this from the left and the limit as we approach it from the right does equal some y value well what is that y value well that is let's plug in the three into here and what's three squared well that's nine so we know this is approaching nine the limit as we approach the left and from the right we get nine so we know this is going to exist this approaches three right the limit as x approaches through this function is nine well number three okay f do these are these equal to each other well they're not two and nine is not equal to each other so we can finally conclude since f of three okay since f of three does not equal the limit as x approaches three of f of x okay um the function is not continuous the function is not continuous at x is equal to three okay and if you want to be even more specific we can say by the definition of continuity definition of continuity okay and i probably spelled this wrong okay because english is my second language but i should know how to spell it but for some reason i don't all right and this is our definition of continuity which was the very first video that we talked about see how how detailed we have to be in our explanation we need to make sure when we do these justifications we are mentioning all three in in our work here now <clears throat> this graph here is probably not accurate to what i drew it was just there to help me out so let's just scratch it out okay now that we know our answer let's scratch it out and we're golden okay determine whether the function is continuous at three so it's another graph here oh did we just do that one we sure did so let's skip it all right let's go to this one right here determine whether the function is continuous at three okay good so let's go ahead and graph this the, the value i'm interested in is three and again the problem we're asking is um well what does this tell us well this says x cannot equal three but it can be everything else so i guess some straight line i don't know something like that <clears throat> and again i probably drew this wrong i just want to know i just wanted to help me graph it here okay when x equals three my y value is two so it's filled in boom okay now now it's, my goal is to find out well am i gonna are these filled in are they equal to each other right is it filled into here is this green line actually 
passing through here or not, right? And probably looking at this graph and knowing linear, I'm assuming not, but why not? Let's begin. I guess my very first thing I like to do is, well, let's plug in three. Well, three minus three is zero. <laughs> well, right away, these y values are not equal to each other. I know it's not continuous, but we need to prove it using our definition. So does the point exist? Well, yeah, f of three does equal two. Does the limit exist? Well, yeah, of course, right? We're looking at this equation up above because it can be everything else except for three. So we know the limit as x approaches three of f of x is, we already plugged it in, zero, right? We, we happen to know this is zero. So it turns out, if I was to draw this accurately, it should look something like this, right? And I just drew it up here, but it should look something like that here, okay? Well, are they equal to each other? No, so now we proceed since f of three, okay, does not equal the limit as x approaches three of f of x. And now I'm just gonna repeat pretty much everything I set up here, which is since they're not equal to each other, the function is not continuous at three by the definition of continuity. There it is, okay? So let's take a look at another problem that's a little more challenging, I think. And this is why it's so helpful to at least get a visual graph, okay? On the AP test, once we kind of answer this question, go ahead and scratch out your graph because it's not probably going to match this perfectly. It's just there to help us know how to justify these. So let's go to the, this question here, which is pretty challenging. And this will be the last one for this one here. And this will be uh, uh, kind of uh, help us out for the next video we do. Determine whether the function is continuous at four. Justify why or why not? All right, well, first things first, I want to graph this function, okay? And the point that we're interested in, I'll write it over here, is 4. Notice this says as x is less than or equal to 4. So we're going to get some function. I don't know. It's going to be some function at 4. It's filled in, and we know this is the equation that's to the left, okay? And again, it's somewhere over here. I'm not even going to try to attempt to draw this perfectly. I just want to get a visual. This is x is greater than 4. We're going to get this bottom equation, so greater than 4, and it's open circle, and I'm just going to draw something like that. Again, the point of this graph is not to be accurate. The point of this graph is to give you a visual of what you're looking for. So notice that we have a jump, and that jump is going to be huge for us in our justification. So Let's determine whether this is continuous. Well, number one, does the point exist? Well, if the point exists, that's referring to the one that has the equal to symbol, right? So four is the one we're going to plug into here. So f of four is equal to negative four plus three, the top equation, because it has the equal to symbol, which is negative one. In other words, f of four is equal to negative one. So you can see this graph is drawn wrong because it turns out this right here should be down over here at negative one. But it doesn't matter because, again, it just helped me visualize how the graph will kind of look like. And we're trying to determine whether they're continuous or not, whether it's actually doing something like that versus being a jump. Okay, number two, we have to determine whether the limit exists. Well, this is the part that's a little more trickier because you have two different equations from the left and from the right. And we know the limit, since x is less than or equal to four, this is the left, right? This is the limit from the left. And since x is greater than four, this is the limit from the right. So let's go ahead and do that. The limit as x approaches four from the left well, that's the top equation. We already did that, right? We already plugged in four into here is negative one. Let's go ahead and do the limit as x approaches four from the right. Okay, we have to justify this because there's two separate functions, two separate lines there. And that's the top equation. So three times four minus five, 12 minus five is seven. Okay. Oh, so does the limit from the left and from the right exist? No, they don't. So we can conclude the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x. Notice now the little plus or minus is gone because that means from the left and from the right, okay, uh, does not exist. Okay, so I would write since the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x does not exist, okay, the function is not continuous at x is equal to 4 big by the definition of continuity dot 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 okay so the point exists but now we know the limit does not exist they're not equal to each other so now we can stop and we can say since they failed one of the three conditions we know it's not continuous pretty tricky stuff but i'm hoping that you're kind of getting the hang of